We always, always, always begin with gratitude. So I want to thank you for being here and let you know that I'm so honored to have your energy and your presence here. I'm LA, also known as the Holistic Wellness Therapreneur and the creator of this channel, Reconnect With You. Remember to check the community section of my channel for polls, updates about videos, and other info that I post there. I wanna extend a warm welcome and a hug to you if you are new here and if you are returning, welcome back. If my vibe and energy or any of the contents of this channel resonate with you, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. So, are you ready to reconnect with you? If so, come on in and get comfortable whatever getting comfortable looks and feels like for you. Today, I wanna to talk to y'all about the importance of having hobbies. First, I want to share with y'all some definitions to help you separate fun from hobbies. The definition of fun has three parts. It is enjoyable, it's informal. It brings you joy and lighthearted pleasure. Next, I want to give you a definition of a hobby. So a hobby has four parts. It's something that you're passionate about. It is something that you don't do for pay or professionally. You do it in your free time. It maybe involves a skill or something that you want to improve upon. Next, I want to share with you seven benefits of having hobbies. The first benefit is that it helps you to build patience and practice being patient with yourself and with a process. The second benefit is that it supports you in channeling your creativity and really getting in touch with the creative side of you and improving your ability to be creative. The third benefit is that having a hobby is a form of self-exploration and being intimate with yourself or self-intimacy. If you are liking this video so far, I would love to hear your thoughts. Please comment down below. Also, share the video with a friend and subscribe to the channel. The fourth benefit is community. When you have a hobby, it presents you with an opportunity to meet new people and can give you a sense of community around that particular hobby. The fifth benefit of having a hobby is it's good for stress management and stress relief. The sixth benefit of having a hobby is that it provides you with new learning experiences and, and it creates challenges for you that can promote your self-development and transformation. The seventh benefit of having a hobby, and one of my favorites, is that it allows you to have an activity and a part of your identity that is separate from your other relationships. For those of you that might be watching that don't have hobbies or may want to develop some new hobbies, I did want to give you some examples of, of some hobbies. Some examples are gardening or learning to grow your own food, photography, creative writing, cooking, baking, starting a collection of some sort, collecting something, candle making, shameless plug to my candle company, Solitude Scents. I will leave the link to our website and Instagram page in the description box below. We also have a new release coming up soon that I'm very excited about. So y'all can check that out with those links. I also wanted to let y'all into just a little bit more about me. You might be like, well, LA, what are your hobbies? <laughs> so I have a few hobbies. My first hobby that I am very <laughs> open about is karaoke, doing karaoke. I am a karaoke enthusiast. I absolutely love karaoke. Another hobby that I have, and this is one that I don't think I've shared, but I collect mugs. So I drink coffee sometimes. I also drink tea. I usually have some type of hot beverage with my breakfast. So I have different mugs that I've collected over the years and also that people have gifted to me because they know that I collect mugs and uh, I choose a mug based off of whatever mood that I'm in. Another hobby that I have is mixology. I talked about this in one of my previous videos that during the pandemic, I became a home bartender and it's been really exciting and fun for me to just learn about different spirits, learn how to make different cocktails. Before we move into the last part of today's video, I wanted to give this message. Please don't feel any pressure to monetize your hobby. I know this from personal experience, doing so can shift your association with that particular hobby and it can shift your relationship with it as well. I just wanted to give that message as I'm talking about the importance of having a hobby to encourage you to have hobbies without feeling like you have to monetize them or make money off of them 
I do want to say though uh, that there's nothing wrong with doing so but I think sometimes when we talk to people about hobbies you may get messages around like okay well how can you start to make money with this or how can you start a business and that may not be the path that you are intended to take with that particular hobby or with your hobby so I wanted to share that if you're new here I end each and every video with a prompt for journaling a reflection Partly because I absolutely love journaling, I've done a lot of journaling, but also because I want my viewers to have something that they can take away from the video, something that they can think about and reflect on even after the video is finished. Prompt for today's video is simple. It is what activities or hobbies do you do in your free time? Feel free to pause the video here and take a screenshot for later. Well, that's what I have for y'all for today. I look forward to connecting with y'all again soon, but in the meantime, reconnect with you. Peace.